Good evening there, my name is Andrew School and I'm doing another YouTube video. Um, so, yeah, so basically I'm going to do another YouTube video uh, regarding free CDs which I've seen in my room. I was just doing a clear out and I'll give you a bit of history um, in terms of why I like the bands and what they mean to me. So the first CD is Royal Blood. Um, I've I got into Royal Blood as a band as they remind me of when I was an, an apprentice for London Borough Haven. Uh, sorry, I just scratched myself there. Um, when I was an apprentice for London Borough Haven, and um, I got really got glued to, to listen to uh, XFM. Um, I used to listen to a lady called Hattie Pearson, and she was on the graveyard shift, so it was like free. I think it was. 5am to 7am on a Saturday morning and Sunday morning so basically I didn't have much money then so then I decided to listen to Hattie and uh, kept on playing uh, Royal Blood and other classics like uh, Oasis and Blur and The Pulp and Shed Seven and other bands but um, this reminds me, Royal Blood reminds me of when I was imprinted for London Borough Havering and um, basically just looked out for them during uh, my time as working. Um, the second album is Going For Gold, Shed 7. Um, I went to, to see them live in December, so it was the day after the European, it was the day after, sorry, it was the day after the general election for Brexit. Um, um, how I got into Shed 7 was, um, they have a song called Chasing Rainbows, and uh, Chasing Rainbows, um, I first heard it you know, on Sky Sport Premier League years, I think around 96, 97, I think they show a clip where Nottingham Forest get relegated against Wimbledon at home, and they've got some fans on the pitch crying, and after Nottingham Forest get relegated, and they play Chasing Rainbows um, on the in the background. So, but um, what one of my best song from uh from Chet Seven is um she left me on Friday and Speak Easy. It was um, Speak Easy was a is a really good song from them and um, I really enjoyed uh, listen uh, listening to them live and it was probably one of the best experience I've had. And the final album is uh Hard Fire, Stars of Suzy T V. Um I used to listen to Hard Fire when I was in um school. Um, they used to be played on Soccer AM. Uh, Soccer AM, we don't know, is a football show uh, with Tim Lovejoy and Helen Chamberlain. And basically, it was like getting all the music musicians on and footballers. And um, they used to um, they used to talk a bit, a bit like a talk show, a bit like a comedy talk show for children and young adults. Um, not, no, I think it was 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. But Half Five Star CCTV reminds me of my youth. Um, there's some classic hits, like, um, for example, uh, Live for the Weekend and um, Hard, Hard to Beat, which is probably, and Cash Machine as well, but Hard to Beat was my favourite song. I always remember playing it when I, when I was uh, on the bus going to Royal Beard User Club to their indie nights on a Friday night around about 2006. I mean, that was one of the the best toe tappers I've heard for a long time. I still listen to it today. Um, but Cash Machine was a good song and Live for the Weekend. And um, yeah, I'm really glad that um, I got still got these albums. Um, I know I'm pretty old school and old fashioned, but um, I still enjoy listening to them. Um, hope everything is okay and uh, God bless. Night.